Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to my Andrew Crypto. Today we have Luna Classic Lunacy Daily Update. Is it bullish? Is it going to turn bullish again? Before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Manu Crypto. You will take easy profits rating 200 altcoins, a manual system with over 90% win ratio, personal guidance, educational videos, and many, many other benefits. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Let's start right now with the Lunacy. And eventually I have the Bitcoin chart open to show you something very, very important. Of course, right now, let's go and see what Loon C Luna Classic is going to do. Eventually, in the daily frame, we talked about the resistance levels before in the logarithmic scale and in the non-logarithmic scale. It is very important to check both because in the logarithmic scale, you can see here, we are just going sideways between the 0.786 and the 0.618. In the non-logarithmic scale, we are going sideways between the 0.5 and the 0.618. Mainly, this is good during an uptrend, right? Not to lose the previous support level of the Fibonacci. For example, if you find a retracement right here, you do not want to lose the 0.5 after, and therefore this is a good sign. However, we want to see what are we going to do eventually in the lower time frames. This is where I want to stay a little bit, because right here we could be forming a nice bullish pennant, right? This could be a nice bullish pennant where we break above. Okay, if we connect the top lines though, this is more likely the top. Okay, and this is more likely the bottom. So we are going probably around here. We are going to see if we are going to break above or not. This could be also a symmetrical triangle. Okay, what I mean by that is that it can also not be bullish pennant, but it could be also be a symmetrical triangle which is a little bit of a neutral that means that we can go either way down or upwards and what you need to do right there in these situations you need to see and wait if we have a breakout okay this is the most important part right there and many of you would connect for example these lines right here or they would do it other way i prefer to connect always the top weeks of the candlesticks and the bottom weeks okay and you can see that it is forming right here a nice triangle we are going to see a breakout a squeeze point the volume is going to get lower and this is why i opened before the bdc chart look at that many people ordered a short position there due to the bear flag okay so what they did was they drew the bear flag right here during a downtrend this is what the bear flag rule looks like all right so we broke below and many, many people order their short position, but they got wiped out by this fake out that Bitcoin had. So the short positions got wiped out because of the leverage, because of the, um, you know, high leverage that many people had. And then Bitcoin just went all the way down with this fake out. We had the correction going on and then we just went all the way down furthermore. Right now, the case with Bitcoin is that what you needed to do before was to wait. Usually in these patterns, what you need to do is to wait for the price to go and find the resistance level right there and then you enter. This is what the trade books are saying, right? Because you, we have seen multiple fake outs during a bear flag, for example, you get a fake out where you go below and then you go up during a nice, for example, bull flag, you might go up and then down. So this is why we're, we are always waiting for this rejection. And this is where I want to tell you right now and what I want to tell you with Loon C. You need to wait for a possible fake out. So for example, if we go further down right here, do not open short positions yet until we realize that we are getting rejected right here and then you open here. Or if we go break above, just wait because it could be fake out and then we go down, right? So I want you to be extremely careful. Apart from that, though, in the four hour frame, I will tell you something. We have a very high risk, right, with the RSI, but the price analysis seems good. The price analysis seems good for the Loon C Luna Classic, and therefore we could manage to go a little bit higher. Although I am telling you that Bitcoin might be having a crash, although the Luna Classic does not care about Bitcoin. I have to tell you that, that with Bitcoin, we might be seeing in the next few days a crash going on and therefore it will shake the market out. Also, Ethereum against Bitcoin chart does not seem so good. I thought that it would handle the pressure, but unfortunately it broke down. This means bad news for the altcoins right there. Okay, so right here we are getting into a triangle, possible bullish pennant because it comes after an uptrend, but it could also be a symmetrical triangle. I suggest you to look at the targets that we talked about. Okay, 
So on the targets on the non-logarithmic scale, it is here. We need to close above the 0 0.30013213. In the logarithmic scale, we need to close above this line right there, and it seems more logical to close above this line because you can see it is a little bit above this top trend line right now, and this would indicate, closing above this line would indicate a more impulsive wave for Luna Classic, the 0 0.30s 14.122. You can either close, have the closing condition in the 4-hour frame or in the daily frame. I do not mind about that. Thank you so much for watching. You know the other targets, right? In case you haven't seen the previous video, 0 0.30s. 2150 will be the next target if we close above. If we go below the target, then we are going to soon meet this support level right here, the 0 0.30112083. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Stay tuned and of course do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Bye.